Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, today uh, I brought a problem from Pathfinder, it was requested by one of my students. So this is Pathfinder Chapter 7 Properties of Matter, check your understanding problem 8 or properties of your matter, I think it's fluid, start, uh, fluid mechanics. So uh, check uh, your understanding problem 8, so let's look at the problem. So a cylindrical vessel of radius r and height h is affixed coaxially at one of the one end of a rod of length l, uh, the other end of which is pivoted to a fixed support so that it can rotate in a vertical plane. So this is a small container and this is some small amount of liquid. It's a very small container. Imagine it to be a very small bottle, uh, maybe a medicine bottle or something like that. Okay. Uh, so it has got uh, a liquid up to half the height and uh, then it's connected to a rod of some length L and it's being rotated in a vertical circle okay and this length is L okay so uh, it can rotate in a vertical plane the vessel is half filled with water and its dimensions are much smaller than the length of the rod so very small vessel okay with what minimum constant angular velocity omega must the rod be rotated so that water does not spill out of the vessel anywhere in its circular path. So we want that this water should not spill over anywhere in the circular path. And acceleration to gravity is given as g is equal to 10 meter per second square. So if you want you can give it a try and uh, then you can have a look at my solution. I will get into the analysis right away. So let's have a look at the analysis. Okay. So uh, all of us know that uh, uh, the uh, water takes a level surface in whichever direction gravity acts the water uh, surface is perpendicular to that right. So in steady state water surface of water becomes perpendicular to the effective gravity. Now uh, what I mean by effective gravity suppose there is a vessel which is accelerating. So there is a real gravity and the pseudo force which is also proportional to mass. So since uh, this force is also proportional to mass and that pro force is also proportional to mass, I can combine the two pro forces which are proportional to mass into a single force and I call it m times g effective. So that's how I am defining uh, effective gravity that is uh, the resultant of pseudo force and uh, the real gravity force and divided by mass. So that's the effective gravity right. So even in accelerated vessels, so when vessel is accelerating, you know that uh, the effective gravity is resultant of these two and then water vessel, water in the uh, vessel will assume a shape perpendicular to the effective gravity, right? So uh, effective gravity as seen from the vessel frame. Here the vessel is sufficiently small, therefore we can assume centrifugal force per unit mass to be uniform. See here, instead of uh, normal minus ma, here there will be a centrifugal force which will act on this. So so gravity, so there is some real gravity mg acting on it and apart from that as the vessel is rotating there is also centrifugal force acting on it. So effective gravity would be the resultant of the real gravity g vector and centrifugal force that is omega square uh, l, omega square l times r cap, uh, r cap is the radially outward vector. So effective gravity is going to be the resultant of this g vector and the omega square l radial vector right. So now. Uh, Either I can assume gravity to be in a, a, a constant direction and assume centrifugal force to be rotating about it in a circle or otherwise if I see from the vessel frame centrifugal force always acts in this direction right. But then uh, if the centrifugal force is assumed to have a constant direction then gravity vector must be rotating about it. So it all depends on what frame you choose. So in the frame of vessel centrifugal force is always let's say you draw the vessel in this orientation then centrifugal force is always downward and gravity vector is rotating in different different directions as the vessel is rotating. So from vessel frame vessel is not rotating right and the entire earth is rotating about the vessel right and therefore gravity is uh, gravity is rotating about the vessel. So that's one way of uh, looking at it right. So for easy visualization of the spilling process we shall visualize the process from the rotating frame. In such a frame the centrifugal force will maintain a constant direction however g vector will appear to rotate with an angular velocity omega right and also net effective gravity vector will be the resultant of g vector and the omega square r r cap so in this case uh, r is l so r cap means the radially outward vector right now when the liquid is about to spill so limiting equilibrium case when the or uh, limiting case when the liquid is just about to spill but we have to prevent it from spilling that means what uh, this is the maximum allowable angle theta okay if theta becomes larger than this for then obviously some spilling will happen. So this is the maximum because this is the periphery of the vessel. See this is the cylinder of diameter 2r and height h 
and if the liquid is just about to spill then it will be touching the brim here and then it will be because it's half filled so exactly the other end will be at the bottom corner right because uh, half filled means half the volume is filled so this much is filled and the other half that much is empty right so this will be the situation when the liquid is at the verge of spilling okay and that means what at the verge of spilling the effective gravity must be like this and this angle is theta and this angle is theta so and tan theta will be h by 2r when it is at the verge of slipping right so effective gravity from the vessel frame should always be at such an angle phi such that tan phi should be less than tan theta so you see uh, this angle should be theta is the angle at which it is at the verge of spilling so actually gravity should be uh, such that this angle this this is less than theta the actual angle phi let us say this phi is less than theta so gravity should be at such an angle okay such that tan phi is less than tan theta where theta is the maximum allowable angle that the surface can make and the maximum allowable angle that the surface can make with the horizontal should also be the maximum allowable angle that g effective can make with this uh, vertical wall of the vessel it's not really vertical but then from the frame that i am seeing the vessel frame this appears to be vertical so so this is the, also the maximum angle that the effective gravity vector can make with the wall of the vessel okay now from the vessel frame omega square l has constant direction when g rotates with omega so that their resultant can be shown by a circle diagram as shown in the figure so this is this blue vector is the omega square l vector which i am not changing the direction because i am looking from the vessel frame so always readily outward and the g vector so resultant of this vector and g vector that will keep on changing direction why because this this is one vector and this g is the rotating vector i can draw it uh, as rotating on a circle of uh, radius g and then the resultant is this vector plus this vector this becomes the g effective vector right so what will be the maximum value of phi as the g vector rotates along this circle uh, we know that g effective will be uh, 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 as the g suppose g comes here then g effective comes like this okay so phi keeps on increasing until this g effective becomes tangent from secant it becomes tangent at that time your phi is maximum so this is the situation when phi is maximum or we can say phi is equal to theta because theta was the maximum value of phi and this is what we want and even at this situation it should not spill right so from this figure so what i have written note that phi is maximized when g effective becomes tangent to this circle right and corresponding tan theta it's simple trigonometry this angle is 90 degree at the tangency and uh, then this is g and then g effective is under root of uh, I mean you can just use the Pythagoras theorem so root of uh, g square plus uh, omega square l square uh, just a sec I think I messed it up a little uh, this angle is 90 degree so omega square l whole square and there should be a minus g square because this is the hypotenuse so uh, uh, let me correct this so this should be okay so uh, omega square l square oh that was fine there but this should be minus g square okay so this should be minus g square so please uh, bear with me uh, let me make a nice minus sign here uh, so there's a minus sign there's a different shade of green i put a minus sign okay so this is your tan theta right okay uh, a g a tan theta is g upon g effective and by pythagoras theorem you can see that okay uh, so now from this equation the equation 2 and the equation 1 so equation 1 was tan theta is h by 2r from this figure and from here uh, tan theta is also g upon under root of omega square l square minus g square okay and uh, using these two equation i just equate them and then if you solve it this uh, i have solved it correctly i just made a mistake there so the finally uh, if i solve these equa equation i mean equate the rhs of the two equations again this should be a let me use a red pen this should have been a minus sign over here okay so uh, if you use these two equations and simplify you'll get omega as this okay so this is our final answer and uh, that's that's my analysis of uh, pathfinder chapter 7 check your understanding problem made uh, hope you like the analysis and if you like the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and uh, uh, share this video as much as possible through various whatsapp groups telegram groups discord servers or whatever media you use for networking and uh, lastly but not the least uh, 
if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to uh, bring out uh, more and more videos and uh, thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all